OK, let's head over to the kitchen. An Indian curry, that is what Mark is making this morning in the Beko kitchen, and I guess it's the equivalent of our butter chicken, as a, like a favourite in the UK. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a classic favourite. So it's the korma, so it's nice and creamy. We've got some almonds in there. Yum. And you get this sort of beautiful, rich... Um, uh, just a beautiful sauce in there, but it's, mm. you, we've got nice spices in there, lots of flavour, but it's not too hot. It's not one of those spicy in-your-face curries. Okay, know? so it's going to be it's going to be beautiful, actually. Oh, looking forward to it. Okay, you can write down the recipe, or you can come back to the cafe.co.nz and follow the process a little later on. We'll get stuck into that very soon. Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko Kitchen, and we're heading to India for a delicious mild curry <laughs> recipe. I just wanted to say it differently today. Uh, so, the chicken korma. Yeah, Yum. chicken korma. So, mm. so it's great. So we're going to get uh, cracking now. So what you want to do first yes. is I've got the chicken. So I've yep. just diced it up into um, just some nice uh, bite-sized pieces. Yep. Nice chunks. Um, we've got some uh, yogurt there. So pop the yogurt in. Okay. And let you do that. Okay. And cool. then Thanks, give, it, chef. give it a good mix around. Yep. And uh, some black pepper and a little bit of salt. And we want to marinate this. Okay. So ideally, um, you know, a good hour or so, even up to like four or five hours. Oh, with the yogurt. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and it'll sort of it'll you know it'll get fa flavour into the chicken. And it'll also help tenderise it and keep it nice and moist. Do they not do butter chicken in the UK? Apparently not, no. Oh, that's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Is it just something we invented? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Well, yeah. chicken tikka masala, yeah. you know, which I thought was a classic Indian dish, all the way from India, was actually yeah. invented just for the English palate. Ah, OK. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, we well. don't like it spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever tickles your fancy. I don't mind because all the food is delicious here in the Beko kitchen. So that is great. That's going to exactly. marinate. Pretend it's marinating for two to three hours. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So then we've got a, we've got a pot on here. Yes. So that's just lightly warmed. So we're going to start the uh, sauce now, the curry. So a little bit of oil in there. Okay. Cool. All right. Pass you can me do that. that. The old alpha one. Put it right, in there. And then I've got some I've got some onions. So mm -hmm. just sort of chop them up. I've got some garlic as well, which I'm going to slice. Yep. Um, you can pop the onions in, Mike. Okay. Cool. Actually, I'll just. Just give me hands a little wash, you know. It's there all about go. hygiene here in the kitchen. <clears throat> Especially when you're feeding the crew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want that, might put his hands on it. Right, so I've got the onions going in there, garlic goes in as well. Okay. And then you just want to stir them up, uh, stir them around, medium heat, we just want to sort of sweat them down, release all the flavours. I've got some ginger here I've just peeled. You can grate that okay. ginger into there as well. Okay, sweet. There you go. Right. And then we're going to get some spices in there. So I've got some cardamom pods. I'm just going to use the mortar and pestle. I'm just going to like just crush them up a little bit. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, is there anything you could use? Uh, yeah, you could use that ground cardamom if you wanted, if you didn't yep. want the texture in there. But it's really good, you know, to, to use these spices and really sort of crush it up. Um, you know, you put it in a coffee grinder. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. You need a hammer. Quite good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got one of them. Or a, the base of an old milk bottle mum and dad a, used to use. It's a DIY use. Se yeah. section. So just crush them up. I'm just going to take the husks out. And then we're just going to pop the insides in there. So that goes in. How much of this ginger do you want? Yeah, you can put the whole thing in. Okay, sweet. It's all we'll flavour. great in there. Don't want to burn this, so I'll keep mixing it around. Right, we've got some cloves Ooh. as well. Oh, it smells really good all of a sudden. There's like it's sweetness to it. Well, that's flavour, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Spices. Right, so I've got the cloves. So what I'm going to do actually in here, I'm just going to take the tops off the cloves. Okay, why do you do that? Just give them a little, little squeeze. So we haven't got the um, the uh, stems in there. Okay, so great. The texture. So we're getting all the flavour out of the top. Oh, I can smell them there as you soon go. as you yeah. added it. Yeah, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Brilliant. Right. And then um, I've got some spices going Ooh. in there. So some curry powder, garam masala, cumin, and a little bit of chilli powder. They all go in there. And you want to cook this out now. So okay. we're so cook it on the low heat yep. and get all those flavours into the onions and really release those flavours from the um, um, spices. Oh, OK. Um, if what? it gets a little bit dry like that, you can pop a little bit more oil in if you want. Okay. Just, just a little bit, you don't want to drown it. Yeah. And it will oh, just smell so good. And that's it. So just important now, don't have it too high. Don't burn okay. your spices. Just release those flavours. And as you said, you know, you can start smelling it. It's really good. It smells incredible. OK, we're going to get the next steps to this very soon. If you want the recipe, go to thecafe.co.nz. We need to finish off our chicken korma. So things are smelling beautiful here. We're just releasing all the aromatic flavours from the spices mixed with our ginger, with our onion and our garlic.
I should just go home. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was great. No, I need you, <laughs> trust me. Right, so we've, so we've cooked it there a few minutes and you can really smell it, as you just said. Bay leaves, we'll pop them in. Okay, cool. Keep them whole? Yep, yep. keep them whole because we're going to take them out as well. Okay, right, great. We're going to give it a little blend after, but we will take the bay leaves out. Sugar? Little, little punch of sugar. Okay. Set the flavours. And a little bit of flour as well. This is going to help just thicken it. So you want to put it in this stage. So stir it around, make sure it's all dissolved before you add any stocks. Okay, great. This is smelling so good. We've got all those flavours at the bottom as well, but they'll lift off into the pan a little later on. And we've got a little bit of saffron there as Ooh, well. So fancy. We're going to pop that in now. Okay. Nice. Right, Jeez, so you can smell that saffron as soon as it hits the heat, can't you? Right, so all the flour's gone in there. Mm -hmm. Now a little bit of uh, chicken stock. Okay. I'm just going to pop that in, and then all that sediment, or all, all those pieces, um, you know, all the flavour which is stuck to the bottom of the pan, this is going to release it now. Okay, great. So it's all going to go into oh. the sauce. So what we're going to do, bring that up to the boil. Yep. And we're going to cook that down a little bit. And uh, we've got a little bit of cream. We've got some ground almonds as well, which is going to help thicken the sauce. But now we're going to do the chicken. So separate pan. Yeah. So big pan. Um, get some oil in there. Get it nice and hot. So we want to keep this at a good sort of medium, medium to high temperature, sort of control it. And we're going to fry the chicken off. Okay, so we've got the yogurt on the chicken. So you want a little coating of uh, yogurt on there. But if you put a lot of yogurt in, sort of it sort of pays to sort of drain it off a little bit. So okay. just a light coating like that. Okay, and if you've had this marinating in the fridge, do you need to get it to room temperature, or can you just put it straight in the pan? Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty a good idea just to put it to room temperature. So just pull it out about pull half out. an hour. Okay, cool. Yeah, let it come up, and then you can start frying it off. Okay, so cool. We're just, but we're just looking for a bit of colour now. So if you need to do it in a couple of batches, don't overcrowd your pan, so that's probably plenty in there. So I'll do that, and then I'll wipe the pan out because we'll get a little bit of sediment in there, and then we'll do it again. Okay, good. Do you need that for anything? Oh, you, uh, you, can, you, can, you can have a look. So we'll just get a nice little colour all around. Oh, yeah. So it, won't, it won't take long. Nice. And because you've got the yoghurt on there as well, it's going to give us a nice richness to the sauce. Um, but if your pan is too hot, you know, you don't, you're going to burn that yoghurt, you know, you don't want that. You've got all those sort of sugars in there as well. Okay, there you so go. watch your pan, and that's the colour we're looking for, Yeah, so no, nice, right. bit of, nice bit of colour, and it's sort of caramelising that yoghurt. Mmm, beautiful. Yum. So you start smelling that now. You know, just after the colour now, we're not cooking the chicken in here, because we're going to cook the, uh, the chicken in, that, um, in, the, in the actual sauce together. Okay, great. Now, just a quick question. Yes. A lot of friends that are vegetarian. Could you use vegetable stock and, say, tofu, and make, like, a tofu korma? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, no, you could. You can, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, definitely use vegetable stock. Make it in the same way. And just put heaps of vegetables in there. Oh, you know, so instead of veggies. chicken, yeah. you know, uh, use, use kumara or pumpkin oh, or lovely. potato. You know, and then you've got something substantial in there. Right, so chicken, chicken goes in there now. I right, said so that's all you do with the chicken, just yeah, get yeah, that we, colour on. Yeah, it. we're just after the colour. Right, we're going to turn that down. Yep. We're going to pop the cream in there now. Mmm. <laughs> Almonds. So exciting. And that goes in. And then we're just going to cook that out. Okay, do we need to yeah, stir give it, it up? Yeah, give it yeah. a good stir. Okay, cool. <gasps> look at this, and, and this is where you, you can see that beautiful korma look coming to life. And then we'll give that a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll just cook it nice and slowly so that chicken's nice and succulent. How and long uh, do you reckon it'll take? Oh, probably like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Even 20 if you do it really slow, you know. Slow the better, that's what we always say. Okay, And, uh, and then that's ready to go. Serve it with some rice <sighs> and pop your uncle. Woohoo! It is smelling so good. It's going to be delicious too. And of course, the recipe at our website, thecafe.co.nz. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, thanks for bringing this over. Right, reveal, this. reveal. Oh, comma, good, comma, huh? comma, comma, we'll comma, 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 chameleon. That is amazing. Okay, what's on the show tomorrow? <laughs> well, tomorrow I've got a vegetarian dish, a peanut stew. Oh, that sounds very interesting. <laughs>